Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith, and in this video we're going to be unboxing a brand new Bible. It's called the ESV Cornerstone Catholic Edition from Cambridge Bibles. Pop, rip, pop, rip. Bible, awesome. Throw that away. Bible review box, box toss. Okay, let's see here. Oh, very nice pebbly, oh wow. Okay, smell test. All right, I've seen a lot of chatter online recently about a new edition of the Bible that's going to be published by Cambridge Bibles very soon. It's actually not out yet as I'm recording this video, but it's coming very soon. And they sent me a pre-release copy of it. It's a Catholic edition of the Bible. It's the ESV Catholic edition, and it's called the Cornerstone. It's actually a new typesetting for them. It's not a, like, you know, they did the diadem earlier this year, the ESV diadem that came, well, I guess last year, and then another edition this year. They're coming out with more of it, and it's based on some former typesettings that they had, the pit minion and the wide margin. This is a new design for them, new typeface. I'm really excited to check it out. Are you ready? I'm not going to waste any more time. We're going to dive right into this. I got my B-cam right here. What's up? I've got a nice box. They've got this little perforated edge on there. I love it when the boxes come like that because I can tear it right into them. Three, two, one, pop, rip, pop, rip. So much fun. That was way too easy. All right. ESV Catholic Edition Bible. Awesome. Throw that away. Take the box as we do. Bible review box, box toss. Okay, let's see here. Catholic Edition Cornerstone English Standard Version Catholic Edition. This looks really nice. I'm going to get this plastic off of here before I show it to you so you can see what it looks like. So there it is. ESV Catholic Bible Cornerstone Edition. Now, many of you know this, you watch my channel all the time. I'm not Catholic, but I have a lot of friends and family members who are, so I love to check out the new Catholic edition Bibles that are coming out so I can share with my audience. Maybe you're a Catholic out there, you're looking for a great new Bible. This looks like it's going to be a really awesome edition. I can see here on the bottom, I got the black cowhide leather edition. They're releasing this in a couple of synthetic leathers, imitation leathers, and then a black cowhide edition. This looks really great, nice box. It's a two-piece box. I'm going to just read to you some of the details, the specs here on the back. I am going to do a full in-depth review of this Bible. This is just an unboxing, first impressions, first look video. So it's the ESV Catholic edition, including all 73 books of the Bible that are accepted by the Roman Catholic Church. Um, high quality, robust finish. It's got a nine and a half point Milo typeface. Milo is one of the typefaces that you see in a lot of other Bibles like uh, Schuyler, Humble Lamb, some other folks like that. It looks really, really nice. Large format, contemporary, generous size, double column, paragraph format, explanatory notes, section headings. Looks like it's got a lot of cool stuff. Are you ready? Let's do this. Okay, I'm gonna set it here. Oh, very nice pebbly, gr oh, wow, okay. Very soft and buttery. Let me set the box over here. Comes with a little Cambridge Bibles card that tells you about their centuries of craftsmanship. Wow, this is nice. Nice piece of leather. Very, very soft and pebbly. Look at that tight grain. Very pebbly. You do have some gently, ever so gently. You can see the raised spine hubs there, and it says Holy Bible, English Standard Version, and Catholic Edition with a little Cambridge down there at the bottom. This is really nice. You get some gold art gilt on the pages there. It's got red and yellow tail bands and some kind of gold yellowish ribbons. Let me pull these out. Oh, those are nice. Okay, let me see this real quick. Get this out of here. So there's a couple of gold, gold ribbons there. It looks really nice. Double-sided. It does say Holy Bible on the cover, so you can see that round it off. This looks good. It feels good. It is a paste down liner, but it feels very, very soft and flexible, which I like. It's got kind of some synthetic end sheets on the inside. You see kind of the gloss from my studio lights there, but it's a paste down liner, but it does feel very soft and floppy. Smell test. It's not too like strong leathery smell. It doesn't really have like a strong smell at all. This looks very nice. It's a nice uh, average kind of, you know, reference Bible size. It feels kind of like almost six inches by about nine inches. Again, I'll do a full, a full review. You get a presentation page. This Bible belongs to Family Records. Kind of some reddish accents on the page there. That looks really nice. Once we get inside, let me get to the copyright page and I can learn more about this. Holy Bible, ESV, Catholic edition with Deutero canonical books. Okay, here we go. 
It's got the official imprimatur of the Archbishop of, Archbishop of Bombay. Okay, so that's the like the uh, seal of approval from the Catholic Church. Map and illustrations by MapRoom.net, Catholic Edition, um, permissions notice, all of this information. First published by Cambridge University Press, typeset in Milo, nine and a half by 2K Denmark. So it's typeset by 2K Denmark. It's printed and bound in Italy by Lego. So this is a Lego Bible that's designed by 2K Denmark, Milo typeface. That's cool. Lego, if you haven't seen this on my channel before, really, really um, great uh, Bible producer out of Italy. They've done some really great editions of the Bible over the years. I don't see any information about the paper. I will look into the, the paper information um, on this and try to get that for you for the full review. But uh, alphabetical order of books, table of contents, forward. So here's a forward to the ESV Catholic edition with the Deuterocanonical books. You see that in there. Then we get the traditional preface to the ESV, introduction to the ESV with Deuterocanonical books. So you have some front matter here that's kind of explaining everything. And then that is a very, very nice typesetting. Two column. It's got textual footnotes in the bottom right, bottom of the rightmost column. Look at that. Again, nine and a half point Milo typeface. What this is, is you may have seen, I've never done a video, but I did a, a case for the mid-size quintel. So you have the 11 point um, uh, quintel from Schuyler. You have like the eight, eight and a half point from their personal size quintel. And I always said, I'd love to have like a mid-size quintel with a nine and a half point Milo serif. That's what this is. Really Really nice, comfortable to read, generously spaced. Paragraph format, it's got bold little verse numbers. I love the modern, see this like modern verse number there? The four is like that really skinny kind of modern look. This looks very, very nice. Bold accents on the page, it's all one color, but it's on the bottom of each page on the, on, on the right column. So you see the textual footnotes are at the bottom of the right column on each page. So you know if you're looking for reference material, you can go there. I like that where it's consistent. Man, this looks really nice. The paper feels good. It's, it's pretty opaque. And then they have the, the Deuterocanonical books mixed in to the Old Testament where they are in the canon for the Catholic Church. So um, they're not separated. They're mixed in with everything. Psalms. This looks really, really good. You get a more poetic setting for the po poetry. See how you have the line breaks and things like that? See how this opens big and wide? Like, look at how flat that is, straight out of the box. I, you, know, you saw me open it. I've not opened this. Looks really good. Even when I go here to the Torah, it's going to sit pretty flat. That's a really nice binding from Lego. This looks really good. I actually like the yellow ribbons. It kind of pops really nicely with the black. I think the, the imitation leather, you get a black option, and I believe it's a red option. I'll put a note on the screen if I was wrong about that. Um, I'll actually probably put a note if I was right about it. Let's be honest. I'm going to give myself credit. But um, I really like this. I, they've never done, a, Cambridge has never done a typesetting, I don't think, with Milo before. So this is new for them, and it looks really sharp. You get into the uh, New Testament, and it is pretty straightforward with um, uh, black letter text. Very, very consistent. So here we are in Matthew. I like this Bible a lot. I like the size. I like the layout. It doesn't have cross references, but it has those footnotes down at the bottom. Like, this looks really, really good. Like, it makes a very solid first impression. So congrats to the folks at Cambridge and 2K Denmark and, and Lego. This looks really, really nice. Once we get to the end of the New Testament, Revelation ends on page 1240. We get a table of weights and measures. We get some Bible maps in here. They're not like the standard kind of glossy Cambridge Bible maps. This is like black and white on Bible paper, and it doesn't look... Oh yeah, they said at the beginning it was from a different company. It's not the Cambridge Bible Maps. It is from maproom.net. Huh, that may be, I don't know why they went with that instead of the Cambridge. It might be part of the, the deal with the Catholic Church or something like that. Very, very beautiful, simple, clean. If you are, if you are looking for a really great edition of the ESV CE, Catholic edition, this is an awesome one. This is, I mean, like I said, really, really solid first impression. 
passes the sniff test, passes the, the first impression test. This looks really, really great. So I'm excited. I'm going to spend some time with this over the next couple weeks, and I'm going to do a full review. Again, as I'm recording this, this Bible is not available, but it's it's on their website. You can check out more information. So I'm going to put links in the description of the video to where you can find out more about this from Cambridge. And once this Bible is available for sale, I will put some links as well. It might already be up as like a pre-order on, on Amazon and Christian Books and stuff like that. So I'll put any information that I have where you can order one of these in the description of this video. If you have questions about about this, drop those in the comments, and I will get back to you with an answer in the comments, but I'll also answer those questions in the full review. I love it when you send me questions when I do an unboxing video. That way I can make sure to cover those things that people are concerned about or have questions about when I do a full review of a Bible. So that's that's really helpful. I'm also going to put links to Bible Review Blog on Instagram and Facebook. Y'all, I've been having a lot of fun lately creating those Instagram reels, like little comedy bits, but I'm doing it focused on the Bible. It's very Bible Review Blog themed, it, it, but it's, it, I'm having a lot of fun, and a lot of people are finding me through reels on Instagram. So my hope is that people are, are finding me through see these comedy bits, but then they're going, oh wait, there's cool Bibles out there. I need to check out this content and see if I can find a Bible. That's right for me because that's my entire goal is to help people find a Bible that's right for them. So if you are a, a Catholic friend who has not checked out the, the channel very much, I've got some other Catholic Bible reviews and unboxing videos, stuff like Word on Fire, uh, The Great Adventure Bible, things like that. So you can check those out um, here on my channel. Again, any questions, drop those in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Before you go, if you would hit that like button and hit subscribe, subscribe to me here on YouTube. That would be really, really awesome. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.